Okay, good morning. Uh, my name is Marianna Richardson with the Jamestown Rediscovery Project. And what we're working on currently is uh, an area just in front of the Jamestown Church Tower uh, that we haven't investigated inside James Fort. And we're working on two areas that look like they may have been cellars for Fort period buildings. And in scraping along one of them this morning to define the limits, we came across what looks like maybe a piece of a compass, uh, an ivory or bone compass. And because of the nature of that artifact and its material that it's made out of, uh, we want to remove that immediately uh, to help because it's vulnerable to cracking uh, from the elements. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, remove that item uh, right now. No, you didn't. <laughs> okay, there's one end of it. Is that a normal end? Yeah. It's broken. Yeah, it's, it's, it's... Looks like it's complete. I've never... Are, these, are they you normally this small? I mean... Yeah, they're... Wow. They're, they're, they're small. Uh, let's go on and we'll take it off. Alright, any other questions? Okay, so we're going to these numbers you can't I mean, see as well. One of the really exciting things about artifacts is uh, in aggregate they can tell you a lot, like the whole fort. Is... There's one. There's one in the museum. I think that's that's uh, in one of the cases that you can see conserved. Wow! You guys are here at the moment of discovery. Give a little base. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. How about putting it just? Hello, my name is Michael Lavin. I'm Senior Archaeological Conservator for the Jamestown Rediscovery Project. And what you just saw excavated in the field uh, has now been conserved. It's this ivory diptych dial or a 17th century timepiece. Uh, the hours are around the uh, base here. There would have been a compass here in the middle. And this uh, sundial is two-piece construction, so it would have had a lid to protect that. It is made of ivory by Hans Miller. Uh, and his name is here at the bottom, H-A-N-S star M-I-L-E-R. Uh, he was in Nuremberg making dials in the 17th century. And what we're going to do now is reverse engineer uh, what latitude this timepiece was constructed for. Okay, I'm going to use this uh, image that I've blown up of the compass and extend the uh, reference lines, the hour reference lines, and use this Sorrel's latitude scale to reverse engineer the latitude of the, that the compass was made for. You can see the reference lines, six, five, four, three, two, one, and noon. And what you're trying to do is match up each one of these with each one of the extended hour lines on this dial. So it looks somewhere right about there. Now I make a mark where the six o'clock hits and switch to the latitude line on the scale and then I can measure for, from the 12 to see that this was designed for the 51 to 3, 53rd latitude.